Mark E Industries designs and manufactures products to simplify the art of tile installation. Pre-pitch, quick pitch, curb perfect, and string a level all help the professional and the do-it-yourselfers alike achieve results with speed, accuracy, and confidence. The following video will show you how these products perform in both concrete and wood subfloor applications. To begin any quality shower installation, you must start with a structurally sound and properly prepared subfloor. A leveling compound may be needed to remove any crowning. The bottom half of the roughed-in shower drain and the subfloor must be level. This is very important because if the drain is angled or out of level, the finished floor will greatly enhance this fact, causing an unsightly and unpleasing effect on the tile that surrounds the floor drain riser and affecting the draining of the shower floor. What will be referred to as the liner or the pan membrane is a sheet of 40 mil vinyl material that is used to control the huge amount of water that annually falls on a shower floor. Mud beds are the sloped area under the floor tile and consist of one part Portland cement to four parts clean sand. All shower floor mud beds permeate water. If they didn't, there would not be a need for a liner. The water that passes through this mud bed and contacts the liner must be directed toward the drain to escape out the drain's weep holes. This creates a properly functioning pan. If the liner is not pre-pitched, water could pond between the bottom of the mud bed and the liner. This problem causes many of the mold and mildew related issues facing our industry today. Pre-pitch is the first product to be installed. Pre-pitch is a unique tool that creates the proper subfloor pitch needed underneath the pan liner to manipulate the water flow toward the weep holes that are an integral part of shower floor drains. Begin installing pre-pitch by first determining if the subfloor is level and how many sticks will be needed to accommodate the floor's particular shape. Reverse mark each stick that needs to be cut to length. If the wall is farther than three feet from the drain, extended pre-pitch sticks are available. Cut with PVC pipe cutters, hacksaw, or a dry diamond blade grinder. Stick ends should be spaced less than two and a half feet apart to make screeding easier. The thin end of pre-pitch should remain about a half inch back from the edge of the drain's bottom flange. This eliminates a step down after the drain's top flange is attached. On concrete, use two-sided tape to hold pre-pitch in place while the area is being filled with mud. On wood subfloor installations, use screws or nails to secure pre-pitch to the floor. Be sure the screws or nails are countersunk so they do not puncture the liner. Mix mud slightly wetter than a dry pack type mixture. This will yield better results for the thin fill close to the drain. Screed each cell full and allow to set. After pre-pitch is set properly, the liner can now be installed. As a rule of thumb, the liner, and any nails for that matter, should not be lower than three inches above the top of the shower curb. This creates an above ground swimming pool effect to control water flow inside a home. This way, water could fill the pan and spill over the curb before it could find another way out. Lay out the liner on the shower floor, allowing for the correct amount of material up the walls and over the curb. If the area for the liner is larger than the widest material manufactured, which is six feet wide, an additional piece of material must be seamed and glued 
to make a single larger piece. A special glue is made for this purpose. Follow manufacturer's directions carefully. Never use PVC pipe glue for this task. It can be unpredictable and possibly melt the liner. Particular attention should be made where the liner and the bottom drain flange meet. A bead of plumber's putty between the top of the flange bolts and the outer edge of the bottom flange under the liner will guarantee a permanent seal. Staple or nail the liner up and fold the corners in a way that will not affect the wallboards. Punched up liner in the corners will kick the wallboards out of plumb. Locate the bolts that hold down the top flange and make a small X on top of the bolts through the liner. Push liner down past the bolt head. Install and tighten the top flange down securely. Set aside the riser and don't cut the circle of the liner out of the drain hole for now. This will keep any debris from entering the drain. Fasten the liner on the outside wall of the curb only and trim off the excess. To ensure the pan liner has been installed properly and will not leak, a water test is recommended prior to mud and tile. This can be done by filling the pan with two to three inches of water and let stand overnight. If no water has escaped, you're ready for the next step. First, protect the liner by covering it with a heavy pad or soft tarp. Hang the moisture barrier by starting on one side of the shower stall and work your way around along the top of the walls first. Let the plastic hang down to the floor. Check the corners as you staple to make sure it has not been pulled too tight. Make the cutouts for the valve and shower head and trim away the excess plastic three to four inches up from the floor. Use the minimum amount of staples necessary to secure the plastic to the walls. Curb Perfect is a stay-in plastic form designed to eliminate the possibility of any nails puncturing the liner on the top or inside walls of shower curbs. Curb Perfect is attached to the outside wall only, eliminating any water intrusion to the stacked 2x4s that comprise the curb. With the supplied screws, assemble the two vertical curb sections first. It is not until the top piece is attached that the inside and outside legs of the curb are determined.
Arrows point in the direction of the downward pitch that is built into the top section. Keep all edges flush. Trim off the inside leg with a grinder, snips, or hacksaw to account for the pre-pitch. Join two sections together by engaging the dovetail connectors. Each section is 30 inches long, so two units will cover the average five foot straight curb. When faced with a multiple angled curb, cutting curb perfect is relatively simple. The front section of the wood curb is on a 45 degree angle in relation to the two side curbs so the cut becomes a 22 and a half degree angle, or half of a 45. Start with the middle cut first, then the next two pieces on the opposing ends, and finally the short cuts that end into the wall. When satisfied with all cuts, interlock the dovetail connectors and secure Curb Perfect to the outside wall with one and a half inch galvanized roofing nails. If Curb Perfect seems wobbly or not very rigid at this time, there is no cause for concern. After the curb has been filled with mud and sets, it becomes a solid, continuous cement backer for the finishing tile or stone. The mud work on the curb is done at the same time the floor's mud bed goes in and its consistency is the same as used for pre-pitch. A lightweight wall mud mix may also be used. Cut and hang wall boards notching around the curb and attach with manufacturer approved screws or nails. After all the boards are up, use an alkali-resistant tape and mud all the joints with a multi-purpose mortar. Quick Pitch is a stay-in-place screening guide system that guarantees a properly pitched shower floor every time. The recommended quarter-inch fall per foot is built into each three-foot stick, creating a very comfortably pitched floor that is easier to tile and that will never cause a floor to hold water or produce puddles. If a wall is further than three feet away from the drain, extended sticks are available, effectively accommodating up to a 12 foot by 12 foot room with a center drain. Like pre-pitch, we suggest to keep the end of each stick generally within two feet of each other for simpler screeding. Installation begins with the center ring centered over the drain hole on top of the flange bolts. The ring rests on the bolts to create the minimum one and a half inch thick mud bed. Reverse mark the sticks that need to be cut and trim with your tool of choice.
Once all the quick pitch sticks are in place, install a weep hole protector under the center ring. Cut a circle out of the liner in the drain hole and screw on the drain riser. Protect the drain top with tape to keep it clean and to keep mud out. Start filling with mud furthest from the exit screeding to the top of the sticks Sprinkle the entire floor area with water and finish by filling the curb full. Let dry overnight before setting tile. Stringer Level is a reusable ledger board or stringer system that has built-in leveling vials to form a continuous level line around corners and through curves. It is strong enough to support heavy, large format tile with confidence and accuracy. Quite possibly the world's only flexible level, Stringa Level has a wide variety of uses. To install Stringa Level, roughly lay out how it will best fit your particular wall configuration. Determine the layout point on the wall and attach with Duroc screws. The use of quarter inch washers are also recommended with the screws to protect the slots. Interlock each section and attach as you proceed. Set tile with the appropriate adhesive and remove string a level after material is set. Fill holes left by string a level with silicone to ensure a watertight seal. Sponge clean and store in the supplied case. Mark E Industries is committed to innovation, quality, and service. Our products have been thoroughly tested and provide the highest level of performance. We continue to design, engineer, and develop tools that are focused on saving installers time and labor. For more information and a list of distributors in your area, visit www.quick pitch com or contact Mark E Industries at 727-771-9470.